fingers are wet with sweat. It's not wow. really. Wow! I'm picking up what you're putting down, Cat Daddy. I'm very aware of the chainsaw. Some people call it a sling blade. I, I call, call it a Kaiser blade. blade. Mm -hmm. Watched that the other day. It's awesome. fucking great, man. Hey, man, you oh gotta watch God. Fargo, man. Billy Bob Thornton's in that shit. He's great, Fargo? too. Fargo? His, his, yeah, his character's fantastic. Never meant Fargo. No, dude, I'm talking about the series. Oh. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? That's why I said you ought to watch it. I know you've seen the movie. You said you watch it, like, what, once a month, right? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Maybe once every two months, but mm. I have it on VHS, and it feels good to pull it out and be like, oh, VHS. <laughs> I, th I would imagine that Billy Bob Thornton's another one of those celebrity guys that, like, you hear what he has to say about, like, you hear his real opinions on the world, and then yeah. you you hate him. <laughs> right? That's That would be my guess. Are you talking about Jim Carrey? Yeah, yeah, you... you well, we, you didn't have to talk about that specifically, but I, I'm just saying that knowing what I know about you and knowing what I know about Billy Bob Thornton, it would seem to me that he would be the type of guy that you would, once a, once learning, like if you followed his Twitter account, I don't even know if he has one, but if you followed it, you'd be like, oh, now I have to hate you forever, Billy Bob. No I mean... I don't know, I've... The the time... A little background on this story for the viewers that don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Um, I they don't got have to on know. Twitter... They, they know you're judgmental. That's all they need to know. They don't have to know. <laughs> they just Why know would... that you're judgmental. <laughs> but just because I'm judgmental doesn't mean like, oh, I automatically hate you. You know oh, what I mean? Uh... Like, I can, I can disagree with somebody's opinion and be oh. like, well, we're still friends, whatever. You know all what right. I mean? Like, I guess... Because, I mean, I'm just saying, if I were to look, uh, like, if I were to open up, a, I don't know, um, a news art article or something that said that you had just, like, shot a bunch of kids in a, in a Norwegian... <laughs> Wind uh, Revik? Yeah, <laughs> that's where <laughs> I was going with it, yep. I, I smelled that out, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised, that's all. I mean, no... <laughs> See, this is the kind of shit that you accuse Jacob of. Yeah, it's fun to do. You you project also quite a bit. It's fun so. to project. <laughs> it's fun to pretend. Yeah. No, not pretend, project. No, no. It's I pretend. project my voice as I accuse you of murdering children. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, what? He well, did it. He well, did it. Well, let's hold on a second here. I'm hiding a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on a second here. We'll, we'll think about this one. All right. I am somewhat judgmental. Like, I've talked on stream about my cousin who's a transsexual, and, like, my whole family's like, yay, that's great. And I'm like, fucking gross. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But, like, wow. I still accept him as my cousin, and, mm. like, you know what I mean? Kissing cousins? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's true. That would be a benefit. I'm like, hey, you're a tranny now. <laughs> Cousins with benefits. That's something Nobby <laughs> Joe would say. What the hell? Oh my god. Quit stealing his lines, dude. <laughs> Cousin with benefits. <laughs> I'm glad you chopped your wiener off there, boy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Shave your crotch beard tonight. Oh, I'm dead. Dead. Dead is dead. You're dead. Dead. Oh, I thought I was oh, you dead. Made it. I stopped you moving because I thought I was dead. No, they surrounded you. Oh. Man. Fuck. I could have been the savior had I just realized that I wasn't dead. We're all dead inside. God. It's man. the world we live in. You and your Lincoln Park lyrics. Enough with that. <laughs> I tried so hard. Oh, wait. I think that's Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah. it's Lincoln Park. You got so far. Sweet. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Boost Necromancer's summoned minions, health, and damage. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I have no attribute points. I've spent them all. Mostly on uh, damage. Because, you it's know, I don't good. think. I just run in with the chainsaw. I got the Leatherface <laughs> approach. It works for me. 
down pat. Yeah. All right. Well, check now that I got, out. Like, That's even a leather face move right there. That was cool. What'd you do? You didn't see it? Uh uh. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It doesn't even matter. Oh god. Yeah. That's right. Wow, it doesn't cool. even matter. A rap rap. A rap rap rap. A white guy rapping in a rapidy rap, right? Yeah. Those are uh, the lyrics. I can get behind that shit. Yeah. And you know I can. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. What the fuck is this? Oh, 12 <laughs> stamina. Mm. I'm trying to figure out these items and shit, like, see if I have something better, but, oh, like, right. it's not very, uh, intuitive. You know what I mean? Uh, d d absolutely. I'll mention, like, Lewis Black. You know Lewis Black. He he fucking yeah. stutters all the time, you know? It's, it's become, like, a trademark thing. So I don't yeah. feel too bad about how I speak, but still, I'm totally jealous about people who can just fucking get a thought out there, you know? I mean, I yeah, I don't think it was always like that. Like, I think the Navy shaped my mind way more than I <laughs> think it did. They you know what I mean? They beat it into you. Yeah, so... You will talk right. <laughs> I mean, correctly. Yeah, whatever. Get an answer out. That's all it is. Get yeah. a fucking answer out there. Yeah. Um... Do we want to try the ice world again? Or just, like, rack up more points over here i don't know man like i said you're the oh captain my captain i fucking follow you oh captain my captain yeah my Yay. chainsaw is yours and my chainsaw that's so <laughs> kind <laughs> wait there there are other people now see trees you would think you would think i would do really good in this area don't you get like bonus damage super lumberjack bonus i hope I don't know how anything works anymore. In the game or just in general? Yeah, in life. Well, why are you so goddamn opinionated then? I mean, because everybody has to have an opinion. It just seems very, like, rooster-like to me. Like, I'm... Bagok, bagok! I don't know why! I don't know why I'm doing this! Bagok, bagok! I gotta go bagok! You know? I mean... Like you, I've given, you just I've given a, some some clues of like why I think the way I do. Statistics are a big part of it. Like I'm just very fact based and analytical. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I come from I this think, whole different school of thought where like the things that we call facts and reality are phenomenological biases that are created from firsthand conscious experience. And just it, we're just doomed to error and failure from that starting point. Every single one of us. So it's, <laughs> it's just, we're just, we're, uh, what do you want to say? It takes all kinds to make a world. That's, that's true. And that's why I don't automatically hate someone because of their opinion anymore. <laughs> I definitely, I I, when I was younger, was like really unaccepting and um, so when younger people are unaccepting of my opinion, I kind of try to understand and just be like, okay, well, you haven't too. lived enough yet. Dude, I, I went through a conservative period in my in my life, and I was also very liberal for a while. And I've been, I, I, I've been what I am now and accused by people on both sides of being the opposite thing, and that's always fun. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I, I get into fucking arguments uh, or just disagreements, and then people automatically are like, you're a liberal. It's like, dude, we weren't even talking about policy. This is like a completely, uh, yeah, different thing. Well, that's you the can't problem. automatically assume. That's the problem I have with modern thinking. It's, it's, it's completely separated into this... this uh, dichotomy it's either a or b you got to be this or you got to be that and if you yeah. have a, an argument about something it's got to be okay well <laughs> your specific point is this so my specific point has to be that and it's like if you say anything that that doesn't fit that mold people will have to try to fit it into like for example you could just be saying that uh, you don't like culture and like some idiot will be like oh you're a marxist and i'll be like man what a dummy that guy is what a stupid idiot moron that guy is for saying i'm a marxist i mean there are uh, a lot of well not a lot of 
<laughs> lines that that lies upon. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree with that statement. Like even to this day, I'm still I'm still kind of like it seems like a Marxist thing I'm to say. I'm not. I'm not. Well, I know we've we've discussed it before, and like yeah, I know most of the other tenets of Marxism are not there. So you get a pass. We mm. won't kill you yet. <laughs> I've already used enough boring philosophical words today, so I w I'm not going to get into my argument against Marx, but I just brought it up as a joke, man. I just wanted to say you were dumb. That's, yeah. all. <laughs> That's all. You ribbed me pretty good. I was, like, put off for a second. I was like, really? how can I come back from this shit just oh, a little bit? Don't be that way, man. No, I know. It's, it's all in good fun, but okay, it's cool. just the natural human thing. I'm like, mm, oh. Me? Uh -huh. All right, fuck you, buddy. But I love you really a lot. Let's you. kiss. <laughs> mm. I kiss we with could. my chainsaw. <laughs> we could. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, man. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, wanna, you want to just sit around and kiss? Okay. Can we order pizza? Uh, I want to taste your greasy face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to <laughs> smell your hot pizza sauce <laughs> breath. <laughs> Oh god, garlicky, <laughs> gross. Yeah. Yeah, pizza's a bad date. Maybe get some chicken alfredo. Oh my god, what the what? fuck? Ew, the dairy? Gross. Oh yeah, There's what that, do you fucking that, eat? That a salad? Film over your tongue? What, before a date? Or, or yeah. you mean on a date? On a date? Hmm. I've taken... what's, a, what's a safe pick? I've taken girls out for sushi before, cause you know, hey, I'm gonna get a mouthful of fish anyway. <laughs> hey, right? hey, am I right? <laughs> ha ha! Ho, yeah. ho. All my I frat boys in the house say ho. Uh, whore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> whore. <laughs> you dirty whore. <laughs> whore. What what whore. accent is that? I don't really know. Oh. Wisconsin. Hmm. Is it Wisconsin? I couldn't tell you for sure. Look, we're hmm. back in Halloween Town. For a second there, I was thinking was Wisconsin would be Hoa, but that's more like uh, Boston, isn't it? Jersey-ish. Oh yeah, Boston, definitely Massachusetts. You are a dirty Hoa. Dirty Hoa. Yeah. I would like some chowder. Chowder. You dirty Hoa. Simpsons reference. Chowder. Simpsons reference. Simpsons Everything's did it. Sister. Simpsons Everything's did Simpsons it. Reference. South Park reference. Simpsons did it. <laughs> South Park reference. Yeah. South Park did it. Yeah. Yeah, they did, huh? Yeah. They really I did. How can you write a show for 20 years and not come across, like, every fucking plotline ever? I don't think you can. L like, I being completely 100% original is impossible. Like everything yeah. you are is 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 related to shit in the world that you experience. Yeah, you know? or else it's not. Like if you make something that's completely unrelated, it's going to be fucking weird for one. Like I could tell you a, a lot of the weird well, random shit that goes on in my brain, but even doesn't like, mean you'll get it. <laughs> even like absurd abstract nonsense is still like you can't imagine a, a fucking shovel that shit's pudding unless you have a concept in your brain of what a shovel and what pudding is, you know? Exactly, yeah. So if it has a word. Yeah. But like I just yeah, think even numbers and shit, fucking abstract concepts, but there's still a word for them, you know. See, I talk about this with my buddy Greg a lot. He was a he was a philosophy major too, except he's not very he's not as talkative as me. But like we we have the same interest in that shit, and like we're always talking about um like uh references and um like what makes something original and what makes it like hacky and so forth. And yeah. it's like, I think the originality just comes from the little idiosyncrasies that you put on it. Like, I, I, I'm struggling to think of an example, but like any, think of any um, director or musician or artist of any kind that you like. And they're kind of in a way rehashing a whole bunch of, just, they're just an amalgam of all the shit that they love, you know? Yeah. And they're spewing it out through their own gut, you know? Well, that's why, like, I find art really fucking weird, you know what I mean? Like, even TV shows and shit like that, because it's all filtered through, like, tons of people, you know what I mean? Mm. 
You mean like multiple writers and editors and uh, producers and stuff? I mean, even if it's just one person, you do get a much more pure vision, you know what I mean? But it is still like filtered through somebody else's eyes, which mm. makes it kind of well, freaky. So collab being collaborative freaks you out? Um, I mean, I don't know if freaks me out is the way to put it. Okay, because I was going to um, say, then you should be freaked out right now because that's what we're doing. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> it's no. like Twilight Zone. You realize you're trapped. Oh yeah. my god, I read this fucking Brad Bray, Bray Bradbury short Bray story. Bray Bradbury, yeah, I know him. He's He is so bad, Barry. You don't like Ray Bradbury? Like, no, in a good way. Mm. Like the short story that he wrote, um, I can't remember what it was called. It was in one of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's like picks or some shit we'll like that. What's it about? I could probably guess. Okay, uh, these people escape like the future and shit where there's a giant war going on and they go to Spain and they meet these other dudes and they're like, oh, we're going to film a movie. Let's take you with us. And then uh, basically at the end of the book, they fucking tell them that, um, yeah, they're the people from the future that are looking for them and what? they have to kidnap them. So That's a short bombs. story? Yep. Man, I, I don't recognize that at all. I really wish I could recall the name. I've read a ton of his short stories. He's got a ton of them, though. <laughs> a yeah, lot. Yeah, exactly. He's prolific. So you like but that one? You like Ray it Bradbury? It sent shudders up my spine. I was just like, holy fuck, they got me so good. Mm. And they you, got those people so good. Those fictional people. Those poor fictional people! Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I love Ray, Ray Bradbury. Yeah. I like him too, but I mean, he really does come across in his writing as like a sentimental old man, you know? Like <laughs> yeah. all of his stories have a real, just kind of, um, uh, like you just want to wear a warm sweater and suck on a <laughs> Werther's original while you're, you know? <laughs> That's, yeah, about yeah. accurate. Just wondering I mean, if your grandkids will ever call. I call my grandma every week. And my mom too. I visit my grandparents. I, I have a I have a close relationship with them because they kind of raised me for half of my childhood. Good. You should love them. I do. I love old people in general, even though I make a lot of really mean jokes about old people. <laughs> we'll all be one someday. I, if you're lucky, right? Right? Yeah. Man. I guess. You know what? <laughs> That's all, an optimistic outlook. <laughs> all these kids today just shitting on old people. Like, trust they me. They made it, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be 36 in September. And, like, when you get to be my age, you're just like, oh, man, I hope I get that far, you know? Because I'm yeah. pretty, pretty much past the age where you can, like, die young as a cool rebel, you know? Like,. Yeah. Now if I died, nobody would give a fuck. You know, that shit's got to happen. You're still in that window. You got time. Yeah, you know? I, if I died this year or like, yeah, maybe next year, yeah. 29, that's still that's still not as glamorous. <laughs> but me, now I'm just hoping that like I'll be able to keep my anus together in 20 years. That's all. Hey, that's a, a pretty low aspiration. I think you can do it. Yeah, but you know as what? As long as you don't plunder your own butthole with your finger too much. Oh, well, now, okay. Don't put limitations on me, all right? It's my life, not yours. That's true. Sometimes you, you gotta, you know, it's like smoking you, a cigarette. It takes a few years off your life, but, you know, it takes the edge off. Yeah, if you want to stretch does, out your balloon knot, that's uh, that's on you, dude. That's right. You're <laughs> absolutely... We, see? We're, we're on the same page here. Yeah. Yeah. It's really vibing. I really like it. I gotta say, I'm a real fan of what's going on right now. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.